Not so great Alexandria. I feel like we need to imagine this in summer. Cheers. Cheers. We found refuge. Good. Thank you, my friend. Shukran, it's too cold for ice cream, but thank you. Bye-bye. First time ever trying liver. Here it goes. Good afternoon and welcome to the not so great Alexandria here in Egypt. We actually decided to do a day trip from Cairo and our three our bus journey with go bus ended up taking five hours so it is now the afternoon it has been raining so we came into cilantro coffee which actually has an amazing rooftop view over the mediterranean sea here and we are looking at the famous alexandria library it is now two in the afternoon so we are going to try and see as much as possible um, and fingers crossed the rain stays away. Even though we haven't explored much of Alexandria, it does feel completely different. The buildings look different, you've got the breeze from the Mediterranean, and of course you have modern buildings like the famous library. Apparently the ancient library was actually burnt down by Julius Caesar. Why? I don't know, but now this is the modern take on it. Um, you can go inside, but I'm not a library not person. That heavy. I'm <laughs> still not going into a library. For me, as it's a library and as I'm not the cleverest, it is better to appreciate the building from the outside, which is actually a great feat of architecture. And I think it was built or reopened in around 2002, but we are now risking it. And we are walking along the Cornish. I don't know why everywhere in North Africa calls like the seafront the Cornish. I think it's just like a posh way of saying it. And we're just gonna walk along walk along the city founded by Alexander the Great. I feel like we need to imagine this in summer in 40 degrees. So let's picture blue sky, sunshine, you've got palm trees, you've got the Mediterranean Sea, you've got the walkway all along the Cornish and you've got the old men fishing, it's paradise. Um, I can see it, I can see it, but right yeah. now, right now maybe not. See it? <laughs> in my head. Let me the mind. The rain is back. I'm okay, thank you, my friend. I'm okay, 50 pounds. I can walk. Thank you very much. Shukran. I'm, I'm gonna walk. Thank you, though. It's still okay, I'm gonna walk. I know, very far, but good exercise. Shukran, you too, my friend. Um, as I was saying, the rain is back. So I'm now thinking, as we're on the seafront, to look for somewhere to have a nice, warm, doesn't really make sense, but have a nice warm beer. It's pouring with rain and you have got all sorts of vendors along here. You've got people selling ice cream. Well, my friend, I don't know what he's selling, but he uh, seems like a nice chap. But um, Alexandria did actually used to be one of the most powerful, most important countries in the Mediterranean. And it's changed hands many times over the years. And you can notice that with all the different types of architecture as you're walking along the Cornish, looking for your nice warm beer. Thank, Thank you, very you very much. much. Cheers. Cheers. We found refuge in the first hotel that we stumbled across and the rain got a slight bit heavier. This is the Hotel Cecil. And what we didn't know was this is actually so famous. Um, this was built back in 1929. It was seized by the Egyptian government. Apparently during like the 30s and 40s, Winston Churchill even stayed here, which is really, really cool. They have a cocktail named after him. Matt's absolutely gutted because <laughs> we picked a Stella a and we could have had a Winston Churchill cocktail. Um, um, and it was seized by the Egyptian government and then it was sold back to the family that owned it and then it was sold to the Egyptian government and now it's just Hotel Cecil again so it looks out over not the Mediterranean the Sea Cecil not the Hotel Los Cecil Angeles. if you've watched that on Netflix it looks out on the Mediterranean you've got the uh, Citadel as well that you can see that we were supposed to be heading to we'll have to head to it afterwards but um, Stella on the Mediterranean here in Alexandria I think that's a good start. You would think that we came here on purpose, but this was generally a mistake. And this place is somewhat saving the video. So the barman was telling me about the history of the bar. This is the Monty Bar. And it was named after Field Marshal Bernard Law Montgomery, who occupied a suite here at the Cecil Hotel with the British Secret Service to lead the operations during the North African campaign of World War II. And it says so many famous people have come here, including, of course, <laughs> Winston Churchill. So I think 
I've got beer in hand, but I think I'm gonna try their Winston Churchill cocktail, which is like 12 pounds, 12 English pounds. Could I get the Winston Churchill cocktail? Churchill? Churchill, yes please, just, just one. one. <laughs> is it good? good. It's never a good look when you've got two drinks at your table, but this is the famous Churchill cocktail and probably the most expensive cocktail that you're going to find anywhere in all of Egypt. But as the great man once said, and it says in the menu, that he drank, he smoked, but he was still 200% fit. So cheers. It's good. I'm going to be sipping that. There's not much in there. I think it is whiskey, lime and a lot of lime, it's very bitter. Nice. Shukran, bye bye. Thank you, and you, bye bye. Good, thank you my friend. Shukran, it's too cold for ice cream, but thank you, bye bye. We took a 10 minute taxi ride up the Cornish. There's like yellow and black taxis, which look pretty cute. Um, and we felt like we were back in Brighton. It looked like English architecture on the seaside, but we've made it to the Citadel. And it's pouring come. again. It's absolutely pouring and uh, a This has been a shambles. <laughs> this actually worked out okay as you can come inside the citadel and hide from the rain. It's supposedly one of the best defensive strongholds in the whole of the Mediterranean and there are four huge walls that they built to protect it and they've kept it in such good condition. It is very well preserved. We are now lost trying to find our way outside to have a look at the Mediterranean. This rain cannot make its mind up. One minute it's pouring, the next minute it is uh, thinking about pouring. We've run outside to look at the views from the Great Citadel. This is actually where the famous Alexandria Lighthouse stood, which actually was one of the seven ancient wonders of the world. Obviously the only one still standing today is the Great Pyramids of Giza and it was actually built because the port here was so difficult to access. So many boats crashed into the rocks and couldn't see where they were going but unfortunately I think in the 13th century it was destroyed by an earthquake and they've actually used some of the blocks from the Great Lighthouse to build this city del here today. And this is one of the famous pieces of the lighthouse that was found Underwater, there we go. I've touched two of the Salam. ancient wonders of the world. Hey, how are you? How are you? Nice Salam. Nice, nice to meet you, Matt. Nice to meet you. Oh, thank you so much. We're excited. For today. How are you? <laughs> Very good. We're good. Apart from the weather, okay, we're yeah. good. This is like English weather. Yeah, unfortunately, today are not lucky today. We picked to the worst day, right? Yesterday was sunny. Oh, yeah. oh no. Don't today. tell us that. Yeah. From the rain, we have met our friend Tarek, who's actually going to be our guide today from Cairo Private Tours. And the first dish that we're trying is El Saleh. Do you want to tell everyone what it is? Hello, welcome everyone. <laughs> I hope that I will welcome everyone again to Egypt and welcome you back to Egypt. Here we are in Alexandria and this is one of the most popular shops or one of the most popular restaurants who sell uh, the livers. Livers? The livers is, uh, we call it kebda here. It is very popular in Alexandria as they do it in a very special and tasty way. Tasty? And, yeah. I've never and tried the liver. Top, the top uh, restaurant for kebda is this one. It's this one here. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm excited and nervous. Nervous <laughs> Why it is uh, the most popular restaurant for livers in Alexandria? Ah, the the خبرة متورصة من حاجة وثمانين سنة. This is more than 85 years old. So he had an experience more than 80 years in this kind of restaurant selling the livers for the people. That's why it has become the, the most popular and number one. This rain has been impossible today. So this evening we have met our friend Tariq and he is showing us the best spots to eat street food here in Alexandria. And we're starting with El Fare, which is basically a fale, El Fale, which is basically a liver sandwich. I'll be honest, I have never tried liver before and this is the most famous restaurant to eat El Fale, as it is also called El Fale. We have met the owner who's been on Egyptian TV. Here's a bit 
of a celebrity. We now have a bit of a crowd while I eat the El Filet. You are meant to squeeze some of the lemon on top. We have six, by the way, so I feel like I'll be handing a few of these out. Um, which one shall I go for? Which one looks best? This one looks good. It looks like it has some spicy sauce on. There you go. They're a little bit oily. This place is packed as well. My first time ever trying liver. Here it goes. Mm. It's good. It's, a, it's tender. It's almost like a... Um, oh, it's spicy. Almost like a spicy minced sort of beef. It's very thin. Is it what you expected it to be like? It's almost like a hot dog with minced meat. I'm going to try it the Egyptian way and eat chilies as well. I think this is going to probably blow my head off because everyone's staring at me like, what is going on? Mm. Right? How are you? Oh my god. That's not spicy either, by the way. It is spicy. No, the um, the chilli itself is actually not spicy. I'm pleasantly surprised. I have also never tried it. And it doesn't taste like what I was expecting. It does just taste like beef. I don't really know how to explain it because it's not... It doesn't have the taste that I was expecting to taste. So, um, what Matt said is a hot dog, a beef hot dog. It's pretty right. Stop. Stop number two. You're Thank, Thank you very much. We have a feast. This place has been around since 1957, so I'm expecting big things. We have fava beans, we have falafel, we have hummus and some vegetables. I'm going to try the falafel in the hummus. Why not? Mm. Falafel, you can't go wrong with it. And the hummus is really good. Tasty, so we mix up all the spices and the hot oil and the tahini. It will mix a bitter taste for the fava beans. Is it better? It is. Much more flavours. If not, it's a little bit bland. Yeah. You just get a little bit of everything going on in there. Stop free, and I am getting fat. This is Ariza, which is basically an Alexandrian delicacy, an Alexandrian dessert, an Egyptian dessert, and this is Talat, Talat patisserie, which dates back to 1960. Oh, it's soft, it's spongy. Look at that. A it's little just... Egyptian sponge cake. Oh, it smells good. Mmm, it's warm. It's warm. Mmm, it's sugary, fresh. Very nice. Very good. Amazing. Nice. Melts in your mouth. It's very nice. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting fat tonight. Thank you. Mango. Shukran. Do you also have mango? You have mango too? I have also mango. Cheers. 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 Saha. 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 Oh my god, I've just flicked it everywhere. Oh, orange juice is just so good. Walking around the streets of Alexandria, you notice the complete contrast compared to Cairo. You've got that sea breeze blowing into the centre of the city and it's just so much less chaotic. It's, I mean, it's still chaotic, don't get me wrong. It's a little bit more chilled out. We've just grabbed a mango juice and an orange juice to finish up this little mini street food tour here in Alexandria. And we've got a rush. We need to make the 8.30 bus back. To Cairo. I have no idea what time we're going to get back. If it's five hours, oh, it's going to be like one in the morning. Wish us luck. Thank you so much. Well, Shukran. Well, Thank well. you so much. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Good too. Ah, Shukran, thank you. Back to Cairo. It is currently 12.16 at night. That took like four hours. We made the last go bus back. It was 120 Egyptian pounds and we got like a fancy little TV monitor screen thing. Anyway, I'm absolutely knackered. Hello, mate, you okay? I'm absolutely knackered. I don't know why this guy's staring at me. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Nine hours on a bus. I don't know if that was a good idea. Five hours to Alexandria and four hours back. But we achieved it, we saw it, we've done it. Alexandria 
ticked off it was actually a really cool city I'd probably recommend having an extra day so you haven't got to rush around like we did but we are back in Cairo and this is where we've been staying for the last few days at Hilton Heliopolis Heliopolis is quite close to the airport and it's like a modern area full of malls good restaurants and just look at this place it's like an oasis you would not think you're in Cairo I'm surrounded by greenery and we're currently on the hunt for peacocks because apparently they have pet peacocks at the hotel we actually couldn't find the peacocks when we were walking around so we decided to go and have our breakfast big buffet um, don't know why it's acceptable to have uh, like curry for breakfast but it is um, and then when we were actually sat down eating we looked outside and here they all are here are all of the peacocks like the most randomest thing ever um, and they're not really eating my bread you're not meant right to now. 100% not meant to feed them bread it's nothing. no you can have a murder charge there's just Peacock so many murder. of them there's just so many of them um, and what there's one he's not here right now but there's one that just has like all of its feathers when it comes up it's just so so beautiful and then you've got little baby ones I mean this is like it's like the randomest thing ever they're crazy I didn't even know that they just oh, could lay there on the floor and look at the color oh my god that is disgusting <gasps> peacock poo <laughs> uh, Mary I don't know what she has been eating <laughs> but that stinks They do say getting a little bit of peacock poo on you is good luck. Oh my god, I can't believe you had peacock poo on your finger in the morning, but I find it so unusual that we have peacocks here. I think it's actually really cool. Um, let's Did give you, you know a rundown. They are the native Egyptian <laughs> peacock. You're not sure, are you? No, I'm not sure. Do you see my face? I'm like, is he joking? I'm not sure. But let's give you our room tour. We actually have a pool view. We have our TV. We have a desk, our chair, huge bed, which is actually very comfortable, I can confirm. And I love the photos on the wall. They're like um, real photos that have been sort of changed. So they're like all different colours. Our shower and bathroom in there. Your shower has two shower heads. I don't know why, but I much prefer having two. Is that really weird? No, I prefer the big one. I don't like the little I like the small I like the one. one the I like the small one. Um, but yeah, I can't, I, I'm still getting over the fact that Matt got pooed on by a peacock. I'm trying not to go on about the peacocks too much, but I just think it's super, super cool. And actually, you know, we're in Cairo, we're in the city, we're in Heliopolis, and we're in a very green oasis here at the Hilton. They, um, they grow their own fruit and veg, which is pretty cool. And it's actually mostly green in this hotel, even downstairs in the lobby. And then let's talk about Alexandria. Alexandria as a city itself is completely different to Cairo. It's a shame we only got to explore it for one day, but with the help of Tarek from Cairo private tours, we actually managed to do the food tour. We got to see what local Alexandrians eat, um, if that's what you call them, and uh, just exploring the Citadel and the Cornish and checking out the Cecil Hotel. I mean, there are some top things to do. If you have more time, you'd obviously spend longer along there, and hopefully you don't have rain like we do. But yeah, we are um, actually going to our next destination this evening on an eight-hour bus. Wish us luck. We are not looking forward to it. We're heading to Hagada, and yeah, we've got to get another one of these buses. Um, I'm in despair. Let's hope we make it. We'll see you in the next one.